Okay, so good day everyone. So we are now in our chapter two, globalization and cultural and multicultural literacies. So since uh, there is no, uh, there is a power, electric power interruption in our uh, place. So I will be using uh, this asynchronous modality. And of course, thank you so much <laughs> sa nagpadala ng, ano, ng, ng ring light na to. May, medyo, ano siya, medyo maliit. Pag gusto niyo magbigay ng mas malaki. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Hindi ko pa nakita yung pangalan mo at nagbigay. So, sige. Ayan, discuss tayo ng globalization and cultural and multi multicultural literacies. So, chapter 2 of our building and enhancing new literacies across uh, curriculum. Ayan. So, how many phones do you have? So, baka yung iba sa inyo. Two, three, <laughs> iba one. Uh, iba wala. How about laptop? Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yun nga. Baka yung iba sa inyo. There are two or three phones na meron kayo. How about this? Do you have a family member working abroad? Meron. Yung iba meron, yung iba wala. Ano po? Ah, pero pinsan, ganyan. Yeah. They are still a family member. How about this one? Mahilig ka ba sa K-pop music? <laughs> so, Korean novela. Yes. Uh, mga noodles. Ano? Noodles. Noodles ng ibang bansa. Yan. So, those are uh, so those are the uh, example that we are experiencing the so-called globalization in cultural and multicultural literacy. Na guys, na tayo. So of course, the objectives of this uh, session, so at the end of this chapter, you should be able to develop a clear and practical understanding of the following. Number one, Globalization and its implications on both the national and individual level. Uh, cultural and cultural, multicultural literacies in the Philippines. And of course, the one's level of cultural and multicultural literacy, which are uh, hindi pagkasama of this session kasi medyo mahaba tong topic. And gusto ko ay mas uh, dig in tayo dun sa ating pag-aaralan. But then I will... Uh, choose presenters also who will collab ano, for the presentation. And of course, thank you so much sa mga uh, students ko that they are sharing their expertise also in sharing uh, their knowledge during discussion and presentation. Yan, abangan niyo po yung ila. Yan, what is globalization? So globalization is the process of interaction and integration between people. So when we are uh, interacting in different uh, people, especially in social media or like in business entities, in governments and cultures from other nations. So those, those are, uh, uh, we could anchor that, uh, uh, that experience or that endeavor in the so-called globalization. Uh, if it is driven by international trade investment, also, it could be a globalization. Ano po? So most commonly, we are using information technology on doing that. Am I right, guys? So, halimbawa, yung mga uh, social media natin, which is very uh, common, ano, to each and everyone. Some of you nga, ay, ang dami yung Facebook accounts. But still, uh, it's up to you if it is, uh, it depends upon the purpose of the uh, account. Ano? Kasi ako, isa lang talagang account ko. I have just this a certain official YouTube channel in oh, sa YouTube and yung Tonerikeron sa Facebook. Ano? Ayan. So, diretso tayo. Ayan. Kilala nyo ba yan? Yung <laughs> mga, ano yan? Mga artista. So, of course, thank you so much sa uh, google.com. Ayan. Si Miss Universe. 
natin ano dito nakaraan si Miss Gomez ayan so with that picture ano so let us determine or uh, tawag nito uh, tingnan what are the difference uh, between the two ano so the Koreanas uh, the Korean women and the uh, Filipina ano so they are uh, they are uh, the same uh, beautiful sila pareho and then uh, there are just some entities that they are different so let's talk about this so to better illustrate this consider two people or two that women uh, to different countries for example the philippines and the south korea so let us say they met in college and become good friends and also the korean comes to treat it like a member of the filipino uh, family ano? and most commonly ang dami niyang ang daming ganyan ngayon ang dami yung exchange students ano gusto ko rin mag-exchange students tayo sa Tech NCI so after some time the korean returns to her own country but something has changed she notices an aspect of her culture that she finds herself wishing to be more filipino ang sarap talaga maging Filipino, promise guys. Uh, but uh, she knows very well that she cannot change Korean culture as a whole. Siyempre, yun talaga yung kinagis niya, di ba? And so she decided, decides to change, to just change herself. She does not change everything, of course, just a little thing here and there. She's still obviously Korean. Ano? So, halata, kasi halatang halata lang kapag Korean ka. And, but she does but she does a few things differently from those who have never been in the Philippines. Kasi yung uh, pagkain ng kanin, ano, so that is a practices of, uh, that is one of the practice ng mga Filipino. Now suppose a little more time passes and the Korean is very happy with the changes she has made to her life that make it just a little more Filipino. <laughs> so let's say some of her colleagues notice how she does some things differently and they become curious. <laughs> so she tells them about her experience in the Philippines. Okay? <laughs> Kasi uh, ang dami niyong mga ginagawa na, uh, what do you call that? So parang para na siyang Pilipina, yung mga the way that she experienced the Philippines, dinala niya sa kanilang uh, bansa. And how that in some way she wishes to do some things uh, the way the Philippines do. And her colleagues decide to give it a try. And they find that they like this different way of doing things too. Yeah. Kasi nakakatawa kasi yung experience yung mga ganun. Then try mo sa inyo, sa inyong bahay. Ano, especially kung ibang lahi talaga. So makikita talaga natin yung uh, globalization and yung uh, changes dun sa kultura and uh, gawi ng isang tao. Now let us say that when we look at the person from the Philippines, Something similar has taken place to Filipino. While being Filipino, true and true, her friend during their years in, uh, in college, and some of her friends have also noticed it and have uh, made similar little changes in their own lives. And yung mga Filipino naman, Filipina na kaibigan niya naman, is doing like uh, Korean sometimes. And because of out exposure to the concept of globalization, has largely been through an economic lens. It is tempting to limit globalization as something that concerns economists and businessmen. Diba? So, kasi pag sinabi natin a globalization, it's uh, most commonly ang nag, uh, naiisip natin is uh, yung ekonomiya ng bansa is uh, yung per capita income. <laughs> naiisip natin ganun agad. Ano? Uh, but globalization and its effect go beyond import or export. Ano? and foreign direct investment ano uh yung tulad nung uh, pangako ni Mr. President ni uh, President Duterte diba so this nung campaign niya na uh, he will bring the uh, what do you call that the other countries to invest in our country that is good there are uh, uh, proof na nakita na and ang daming Marami ding, uh, what do you call that? Maraming invest, nag invest talaga sa ating bansa. Even pandemic. Notice that in our illustration, the friends of the two 
uh, people in question were affected by the, the by their interaction diba? since ginagawa nung isa yung uh, yung gawi nung isa and the other one is going to yan. even if they themselves had never been to Korea they had not met a Filipino now it scale this up to the point where it is not just two people from different nations interacting but millions of people from nearly 200 different countries where we are no longer interacting and integrating just languages or mannerisms we or food recipes but everything from styles of clothing uh like yung ginagaya natin yung mga pananamit mga korean even the jacket so like this one <laughs> it's a korean jacket <laughs> entertainment uh, education, technology, manufacturing, ways of doing business ideas. Yeah, so let's start with the clothing. Yes, uh, even you, <laughs> you're also buying uh, Korean products like skincare, ganyan, ano? and yung ano mga, mga nose strip, <laughs> di ba? <Yung> mga ganun. Next, <laughs> So, ayan. Uh, education, yes. So, yung education natin is, uh, it is patterned in US. Ano? So, and also, uh, we are doing the K-12. Diba? So, ngayon, ngayong taon, is uh, gagraduate yung uh, first batch ano, ng uh, K-12. But some of the school have uh their pilot testing during K to 12 ano so hindi sila nag hindi sila nag uh, before nila kinandak yung uh, K to 12 nila bago nag implement let's say implementation uh bago sila nag implement on if they have their pilot testing ano Ayan. technology ano so yung mga cellphone natin ano ay tawag nito uh iba iba or by year, uh, year by year, nag-upgrade siya. Ano? Kasi uh, yun yung needs ng technology. Before, we have just the 2G, 3G, 4G, and now may 5G. Ano? Yan. Manufacturing based of doing business ideas. Sobrang uh, bilis na yung uh, mga business ideas. Kasi even sa TikTok, nakikita natin yung, ano, yung uh, pagawa ng isang bagay. Diba? Ayan. And this is globalization. All we know, it today has have made a few changes in her life, even to us, as a result of her experience of Korean culture. So globalization as a phenomenon, it is not new, you know, guys. So nations and cultures have been interacting and integrating with one another uh, for millennia. Consider how ancient Greek culture was so widespread across the Mediterranean that even the Egyptians uh, could speak their language. Diba? And ano yung bansa, yung Papua New Guinea, they have so many languages and, ano, and so, mm, na, na sinasalita. Even in our country, diba? And how Rome was inspired by Greek culture that they adopted it wholesale. <laughs> Almost uh, nagayahan sila nung kaya na the way they uh, talk or uh, language itself. Consider how much of the Chinese, Arab, and Indian cultures have become part of our own uh, of these interactions and subsequent in integrations that did not happen recently. Even during centuries before there was even a political entity known as Philippines. Ano? So, sa Pilipinas, sobrang ang daming uh, na i uh, ambag or na i oh yes ang bag contribute ano to our country ng other countries ano especially the Spain so after they have uh, their 333 ano yung na uh, taon na uh, uh, tayo ay kanilang uh, nasasakupan so th there are more uh, traditions culture and minsan pati sugal ano nagaya ng mga Pilipino yung mga talpakers di ba <laughs> yon may mga talpakers ayan so isa yun sa mga naiwan ng mga Pilipino ay ng mga Spaniard sa atin and yung mga Amerikano naman the education ano po and yung 
uh, hapon mga hap, mga Japanese is yung kasipagan. Yes, ano very industrious talaga ang kultura ng mga Ch- na mga Japanese. Ano? And th- the Chinese naman uh, na pumupunta sa atin dito sa Pilipinas are doing business. Ano? Yeah. So what is different now? However, it is the speed of which globalization happening. Sobrang bilis talaga. It's overall scope and its effects on the lives of ordinary people. Even tayo, as simpleng tao, di ba? So, danas na danas natin yung globalization uh, yan, experience. Ano? So, not only we are we interacting with learning from and integrating knowledge learned from other cultures and nations at an unprecedented uh, rate, and this now also a sense that no matter where one uh, lives or how limited uh, face-to-face interaction with members of any nation or culture and how limited one's time is spent online. And so, mas marami, parang mas marami na, na uh, oras tayo sa online world, di ba? So, sa, sa Facebook nyo, sa TikTok, ano, and globalization, its effects are inescapable. Even remote villages will be exposed to the latest K-pop. <laughs> di ba? So, uh, bag, yung kahit uh kahit baryo baryo yung isang lugar uh yung k-pop music yung ma- yung maririnig natin ano and they have access to a radio ano and if they produce rice they will also feel the effect of more affordable rice uh, like in vietnam so parang nasa 25 pesos to 27 pesos lang ang 1 kilo ng rice sa vietnam ano and they have more most of them or more of the uh, vietnamese na agriculturists have uh, enrolled or nag-aral ano, sa ating bansa, sa UP Los Banos and other uh, university and colleges sa bansa. Ano? And oh, yeah. if they have access to a kerosene stove, they will feel the effects of the fluctuations in oil prices. Yung mga gumagamit siya ng ano, ng uh, gas stove tapos yung mga ano mga super kalan ganun di ba so medyo mahal na siya ngayon dati 650 ngayon yata parang 910 na siya or yan magta 1000 na yung presyo ano uh, yan fluctuations in uh, in oil prices originating from arab nations kasi sa kanila yung pabrika ng langis and other fuel so all of these things take place without having to know anyone from or anything about Korea, Thailand, Vietnam, or the Middle East. So let us talk about with the, the effects of globalization. You know? So the uh, globalizations are multidimensional. So as shown earlier, they range from economic to cultural and on both national and individual level. Talagang dalas na dalas natin yung uh, the so-called globalization. So it has an effect uh, sa ating buhay. So, of course, May year 2000 summarizes the effects of globalization as follows. Number one is economic, political, and military dependence and interdependence between nations. Ano? So, we have the expanded flow of individual people among societies. Number two is interdependence of expressive culture among nations and expanded flow of instrumental culture around the world. So, ito, topic natin. Economic. Uh, pag-usapan natin siya. Economic dependence and interdependence. Ano po? So when the term globalization entered the Philippine public mindset in the early 90s, it was popularly understood to be a mainly economic develop, uh, phenomenon and a negative one at that idea that foreign-owned businesses could come into the country and freely set up their shop ano? and thereby choking off local industries was not a welcome thought even though it was erroneous. Ano? That was before uh, maraming, uh, what do you call that, maraming uh, nagtatayo ng business dito sa Pilipinas uh, during early 90s. And yung mindset ng mga tao that time was uh, parang madali lang mag, mag-put up ng business dito. Maglagay ka ng ano, kung anong gusto mong shop, it's okay. Uh, and samantalang yung mga Filipino is uh, they will be having more uh, papers to prepare. But parang ngayon naman kasi is ang um, BIR and BTI is doing that uh, particular uh, endeavor. Diba? So they are doing their job of 
having a business permit ano even in uh, barangay and uh, municipal level uh, merong ano merong permit to operate and uh, mag mag ano ka ng business mag kung gusto mo mag business so how many phones do you have yun tanong kanina yeah. kasi that is uh, a sign that there is an economic dependence and interdependence ano, of having phones na madami. <laughs> so while Philippine society has come to realize this early perspective represented a shallow understanding of globalization. So the fact of the immoder and old globalization has brought uh, economic development to our society of a whole and by attracting foreign investors or foreign direct investment ano po, and new technologies, employment opportunities, and money have come into the country. So we have talked with the foreign direct investment, yung maraming nag-invest sa bansa to have their business here. And yung ano, yung halimbawa, yung sahod ng uh, teacher sa, sa Japan. So nasa, pag public teacher ka dun is nasa 120,000, I guess. Ano? Uh, but in our country, we have just teacher 1 20 20 20,000 so we're going to 20 to 21 so that's where it's 20 to 21,000 uh and dito sa bansa kasi is so we are not just do do yung mga teachers diyan ano guys so hindi lang sila nagwo-work for themselves and but they are uh, working for the country as well and for their students kasi even that is just the salary at compare natin sa ibang bansa ano mas malaki talaga yung yung vocation na tinatawag ano guys yung yung vocation natin dun sa trabaho na sinumpaan natin ano yun talaga yun kaya i am uh, very thankful and i salute all the teachers there out there thank you so much for the effort of teaching our uh, students and even yung iba nasa malalayong lugar matawid ka ng dagat just to teach your students ano and sana yun din yung uh, nag-lecture. No? So, it, yun din sana yung uh, maano ng mga estudyante, kahalagahan nila yung uh, tawag nito, yung effort na ginagawa ng kanilang mga teachers. Ano po, especially yung mga tumatawid pa ng dagat just to uh, teach them. Ano po? Ayan. New technologies like this time, so we, since brown out, ano, I am doing the asynchronous modality. I am doing uh, recording for the uh, for these lessons. And so as uh, um, lessons, para mo lesson gagawin niya. So para so cater pa rin yung uh, quality education that we are aiming for you guys. And also we have the employment opportunities. Ayan, ano? Sobrang ang dumami kahit pandemic ang dami pa rin ano employment opportunities. So like BPO yung mga uh, talk 21 alorica i have i, I have uh, more friends in uh, we have students working in alorica ano? so ingat kayo diyan guys and uh, money have come into the country so this not mean however that there have been no uh, negative effects of globalization so can toward 2001 notes uh, that foreign uh, capitals uh, dependence increases income and equality in four ways. You know, we have inequality in four ways now. So number one is it creates a small, highly paid class of elites to manage these investments who create many but usually low paid jobs. You know, it's, uh, kasi sa kanilang, pag sa kanilang bansa yung ginawa, so medyo malaki yung babayaran nila. Ano, so pero dito sa Pilipinas, ayan, so depende sa, ano, sa provincial rate yung uh, pasahod, ano guys? So, yun. Especially if you are uh, low-paying job, ano? Or yung tawag ito, yung helper, laborer, ganyan, or normal na ano, na uh, employee, so nasa ano lang siya, uh, dito sa atin, sa provincia, is 310, parang ganyan, ano, ganyan, ganyan. So, yun. So, number two is profits from these investments are repatriated and rather than invested in the host country therefore inhibiting domestic capital formation 
uh, like I have my friend na ano na uh, working in Valenzuela. Ano? So hello there, Noriel Paulite. <laughs> ano? So yung ano nila yung gilingan kasi siya ng plastic. Ano gilingan siya ng plastic na it, there are different kinds of plastic pala. Hindi sa tao guys. Ha? Yung tawag nito yung yung brittle or melul- malulutong tapos yung iba medyo makunat yung uh, pagka plastic ano may ganun. And yun nga tinutunaw siya dito sa Pilipinas then uh, da- da- babalik sa uh, dadalhin sa ibang bansa ano parang Chinese ba or anong lahat ng ano naman ng nung kanyang tawag nito nung kanyang amo. And foreign capita Uh, penetration tends to concentrate land ownership among the very rich and most of our lands <laughs> parang nabili na hindi naman most pala ano so there are just some ano na nabili na ng mga ibang lahi ano nagwabakasyon lang sila dito ano tapos babalik sa kanilang bansa ganun So, host countries tend to create political and economic climates favorable to foreign capital that in turn limit domestic labor's ability to obtain better wages in simple words. And the rich become richer and the poor become poorer. Yun yung naging uh, inequality dun sa uh, nangyayari. Ano? So, mahirap pa na nga. Mag, 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 natili ka pang mahirap. That is why uh, <laughs> that is why Uh, we really need to uh, increase our educational ano doon ano educational aspects ano mag-aral 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 para uh, hindi manatiling uh, mababa yung uri ng pamumuhay political and military dependence and interdependence so what is this is ayan o so nakikita natin yung picture A survey conducted in late 2018 found that three in five Filipinos believed that the United States would intervene on behalf of the country in case of war by July 2018. Despite the current very conservative stance of the U.S. and its foreign policies, this can be taken as evidence of the Philippines' dependence on both the political and military power of the U.S. in order to maintain its sovereignty as a nation-state in Southeast Asia region. And similar things can be said of Russia and the many communist nations throughout the world. Ayan. So yung uh, paikipagkaibigan natin sa ng ating bansa do sa other country is have a good have a good uh, effects also in global in globalization and of course in our country, de ba? So yung uh, ano ba yun? Eroplano ba yun? No pandigma ano? Yung kakagaling sa ibang bansa. So that is another uh, what call that benefit of having good uh, harmonious relationship to other countries. So expanded flow of expressive and instrumental cultures. Yan, pag-usapan na natin to guys. So expressive culture, as the term suggests, deals with uh, how a particular culture expresses itself in its language, music, arts, and the like. So yan. Sabi ko nga ano. So sino ba yung mga mahilig sa K-pop? Ano? or sa barangay nyo ba sa malit na barangay nyo ba ay uh, tawag nito nakakapakinig ka ba ng K-pop so globalization encourages the monetization of these cultural artifacts and their import or export among uh, participating cultures the increased consumption, consumption of which changes the consuming culture and case in point K-pop music and culture was relatively niche occupation 10 years ago pero ngayon talagang ano siya Uh, maraming Korean ang talagang uh, doing yung mga Korean ano yun tawag doon yung group mga group ayan mga BTS <laughs> ano so yun but, but before uh, iniisip lang nila yun na magiging ano siya ha magiging maganda maging ano to in, uh, kitaan ha so ngayon yun na talaga ginagawa na nila and let alone Uh, actual fans today it is practically ubiquitous in Philippine society ever anywhere ano makikita and ma uh, papansin natin that there is an uh, effect of the globalization and there is uh, Korean ano Korean 
Korean since Korean culture or sa pananamit or anong tao nito yung the way maglaka din yung mga ano mga kabataan ano yung mga ano yung book nila yeah. <laughs> and gusto ganun alongside the consumption of all things uh, from Korean uh, yun nga sabi ko sa skin care products and instant noodles are uh, one of the effects of uh, the so called globalization ano so yung mahilig sa ramen yeah <laughs> Diba? Sino dyan mga mahilig sa ramen? <laughs> so, instrumental culture, on the other hand, refers to common models of social order. And according to Mayer, that is models or ways of thinking about and enacting national identity. Ano? So, nation, state policies, both domestic and foreign, social economic development, human rights, education, and progress. Diba? So, we are all aiming for a progress of our country. That is why Uh, we really tend to have a good social economic uh, development and sustainable development na ini-aim din ng ating uh, mga namumuno sa bansa. So a simply example of this, the Philippine education system, so closely patterned after the American educational system and education leaders in the country closely follow the educational trends in America and select European countries, perceiving them to be the global leaders in the field, while They serve as to an ag, uh, arguably satisfactory degree thus far. It is interesting to uh, observe that the problems and difficulties in American education eventually show out in uh, Philippine education. So, about five to ten years removed, diba? So, yung K to 12, nadagdagan. <laughs> Kaya gagraduate pala ngayon yung ano eh, yung uh, tawag pa. Pero ang maganda nun, um, they have the national certificate na nilagay sa mga TVL. trend if ever na they are not going to enroll in college do they have the national certificate that they could use for the application of their job and so yun yung maganda doon and uh yun nga yung alignment nung uh nung mga kurso ano nakukunin nila is there and uh, you are going to take an engineering during pag college mo so you have to take uh stem ano Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics kapag ikaw ay na mag-senior high. Yes. Ano? And yan, I will also share with you guys that there are uh, accountancy, business, and management in our school, in second CI. If you are going to enroll. <laughs> ano? <laughs> Ayan. Online naman yung pag-aaral. And also we have the uh, yun nga, yung STEM, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Yung Humanities, Social Sciences. Ano? and TVL, ICT, TVL Home Economics, and the General Academics Plan. So those are the uh, the basic education ng uh, grade 11 and grade 12 sa aming school. So expanded flow of people among societies. So this fact that globalization encourages the movement of people between nations, states, and should come as no surprise to us. You know? So the Philippine Statistics Authority estimates that there are or there were an estimated 2.11 at uh, 16 million of OFWs in 2019. So currently, current, around 675.57 uh, workers ano, flew abroad in 2021. <laughs> so reflecting a 69% decrease. And this figure was, however, slightly higher than the number of deployed OFWs in 2020 kasi nga because of the pandemic ano? kaya siguro nag uh, decrease but then uh, our tito and tita na working abroad before is yun, nag stay muna in our country to uh, then nag put up ng maliit na business ano? kasi nakaipon ng bahagya but then they are still aiming for uh, to go back ano in the country that they are working kasi medyo uh, kunti talaga kunti yung opportunity siguro talaga sa Pilipinas. Uh, but anyway, we work out naman siya ng government. Ano? So, thankful pa rin tayo. And, of course, May year 2000 observes three uh, reasons for those things. <laughs> Nung uh, expanded flow of people among societies. Di ba? Yung, yung kung saan saan natin makikita yung mga Pinoy. Pumunta ka ng, ng Taiwan, ando na mga Pinoy. Punta ka ng Hong Kong, andun mga Pinoy. Pumunta ka ng Middle East, andun mga Pinoy. Even in Europe, andun din ang mga Pinoy. Ano? Kasi they are working there and there are uh, good 
our benefit or advantages of ano de, uh, working there. So there are three reasons though, guys. So number one is social economic. Yeah, totoong totoo yan. Kasi, uh, yes, pag-usapan natin later. Political expulsion and travel and tourism is uh, good. Uh, are the reasons of flowing of people or moving here and there of the people. Number one is social economic migration. Ano? So ako, yung tanong kanina na uh, is there anyone in the family working in abroad? So ito yon. And a social economic migration explains the Philippines OFW phenom, a phenomenon of Filipinos travel abroad to find better economic opportunities for them. Uh, like I have my friends, uh, stay in Canada, and you know, naging Canadian citizen, and good for them. And their families for lack of uh, said opportunities here in our country. Kaya sana ay uh, matugunan and sana ay ma then may level kung pa yung uh, sustainable development ng ating bansa and ng pamumuhay ng tao is hindi naman sa ano parang before <laughs> hindi gas hindi maanong gaanong hirap ng mga tao sa tao sa ating bansa yan another thing is political expulsion na ba hmm may kita na yung yung bansa yun para dati uh, Turkey yan Turkey saka uh, Jordan ba? Ano? So yung, yung even sa ano naman sa in nakaraan lang here Hong, Hong Kong ba yun? Uh, bahala siya. <laughs> ano? So political expulsion ang nangyari. So political expulsion on the other hand has more to do with trying to end the political climate of a particular country thereby forcing an individual seek asylum and asylum and ultimately our settlement in other more favorable country. And say asylum is yung, uh, the, some, some other country will take care of you and for to avoid ang yung ano, to avoid uh, persecution. Ano? So that is asylum. Asylum. So next is travel and tourism. Oh, uh, diba? So we have the Santa Elena River Hat and Swing. Uh, huh? Yeah, located in Santa Elena Camarines Norte. So there are visitors coming from Quezon, Manila, and other abro abroad. Uh, uh, yes, and na picture na rin siya sa uh, tawag nito, na picture na rin siya sa um, national TV. So congrats, sir has. And next, expanded flow of instrumental culture around the world. Uh, so yung mga may, mahilig sa festivals music actors, mental infrastructure in the process of globalization, yung mga uh, philosophers natin, yung mga educational psychologists, so the mental construct itself. The, yan. So, sa festivals, di ba, before nung oh, hindi pa pandemic, ano, nag, yun, may mga labanan-labanan ng mga uh, festivals and tawag oh, nito, uh, like in our province, di ba, merong, merong tayong ano, yung pala Palay is that. Yung sa yung mayroong ganon dito sa atin. Ano? So we are doing that. But kasi nga pandemic, so hindi muna na tinuloy yung Pinyasan Festival dito sa Camarines Norte. Ayan. So those are, this is the uh, topic anchored in our globalization aspect. Ano? Yung other, yung cultural, multicultural literacy will tackle by by some of my students, ano, yan, sa BSED 3 and uh, Education 1. Ano? So, thank you guys. Ay, sana ay uh, nakinig kayong mabuti, ano, and uh, tawag nito, yun, inisip <laughs> na comprehension dun sa lesson natin, ano guys. So, hindi dapat na nakatingin lang pag nagkaklase, ano, dapat ay nagpa-process sa isip natin yung uh, pinag-uusapan natin. And because this is uh, related in our profession and we must, kahit sa pang-araw-araw natin buhay, na ano natin to, na experience. So, of course, it is your, uh, once again, it is Sir Tony, Sir Tony official. <laughs> ano po? So, thank you for watching and happy, 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 happy learning.
once again good day everyone